Wisconsin's got iPads. Are you from Wisconsin, sir? No. Huh? No. Who are you from? Atlanta. Atlanta? Okay. All right. I mean, Dunwoody's my official, but I flew up from Atlanta. You flew up. Oh. What, what, what's the uh, significance of you being here? I work for NBC. For NBC? NBC? Yeah. Okay. You're a reporter? Producer. Producer? Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. So you were you following a vehicle? I was trying to see. I was being called by New York, going maybe these are the people you need to follow, but I, I don't know. I was trying to. You trying to what? Just do what they told me to do. So New York told you to follow a vehicle. Yes. Your what? Your offices in New York or what? That's right. How did they know about this vehicle? I mean, it was discreet. I wasn't like, you know, gonna talk to anybody. Just trying to find a location. That's all. So, he's been told to follow he, was, he was told to follow somebody. This, he's told to follow this vehicle from his offices in New York. What, what office in New York? Uh, is it the NBC office in New York? Mm -hmm. Do you have the, the person who told who called you and told you to do this? Yeah. You want to give me his information real quick? You want me to call? Sure. So we got news media telling to currently. follow up on Mark V. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. Hey, uh, law enforcement wants to talk to you. Hi, this is Officer Jones, Kenos Police. We're trying to figure out what's going on here, why you have a reporter or a producer following vehicles out here. It's, hold on, I'm, I will put you on speakerphone because you're connected to this, this car. Now, can you go again? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Okay, hi officer, my name is Irene. I'm a booking producer with NBC News. Uh -huh. um, we, we, we were just trying to respectfully, um, just trying to see if it's, um, if it's possible to, um, to find any leads about um, about the the case, and so we were we uh, we were just keeping our distance um, just to see like where um, pe people involved in in the in the trial um, are positioned. There, by no means were we trying to get in contact with any of any of the jury members or whoever's in the car. We just were. Um, trying to see like where um, mm -hmm. where key players in the trial may be at. So I, I if you want, I can just offer this up. Once the verdict comes, like these are the letters that the clerk is going to be giving to them. So this is hold on a second. Oh, sorry. Just trying to. Look. We have hard ID on the individual. Uh, apparently, he's a producer with NBC. Um, currently on the phone with his offices in New York. Who advised him to follow uh, a vehicle uh, in reference to the case? Ten four. Real, uh, six five one and four ninety four. You said it was a red light violation. Ten four. Okay. Um. All right. So, it, real quick, how you, you advised him to follow uh, like any vehicle? Did you know which vehicle he was following? I mean, we, just, we just had um, our pe people positioned in different areas of the courthouse uh -huh. to um, to see if anyone like um, would be able to um, in in different areas, and so we we were just like uh, so I have phone number too. All, like following um, phone number for different. You? He's, uh, we're going to ask you guys to not do that. 
All right, that's a concern here. This is huge. We can't afford anything crazy happening, um, putting people in, in dangerous positions. Um, this individual violated some traffic laws here doing this. So we're going to ask you guys to refrain from doing that. Got it. Understood. Thank you so much. I'm very sorry. We're very sorry. I'm very sorry. Go ahead, 494. Do you have any ties to, to this community, sir? I love this community. I've covered a lot of golf, whistling straights, not the Kenosha community itself. Mm -hmm. it. Negative. You do not have any ties here. He's from out of state. And friends. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Uh, I apologize. Irene, what's your, what's your uh, position? Booking producer. Okay. 